Yo, what's up guys? Do you click this video to find out how to improve or even to start using the katana in Gun Raiders VR? I have my good friend CJ here to help us, so thank you to him. His YouTube and his Twitch will be in the link in the description down below and even pinned in the comments. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I will get right into it and I'll try my best to respond to your questions. Also, let me know in the comments, what other weapons do you want a guide on? So, as a newer sure, player, sure, how sure. would they try and learn how to use the katana? In, with, like, so, the, the best thing, the best place to start with the katana, it's really, really simple. This is the first thing I tell almost everyone. It's katana in one hand, the wall in the other. It doesn't matter what wall you're facing, what you're doing. P pick a hand that you like to aim things with. Use that for your katana. And pick your, your secondary hand and climb with that. Because you always want to be on the wall. You never really want to touch the ground. Because the first thing, the main, most important thing is that if you're easy to spot, you're going to die first because you're holding a pointy stick in a gun game. Right? So, you make sure you're in a good position. If there's someone in the room, be have something between you so that you're not getting shot at you know what i mean and so that's really the simple thing is to start to kind of just conceptualize staying out of the way staying out of the way is a good place to start and then of course work on your headshots and get in close but the, that's the really really basic default is is, is you want to a be able to hit your shots and b you want to be able to move to stay out of the way because ultimately it's not a very high damage weapon unless you get two hands or a headshot or slash but if you're still working on getting slash even just hitting them a couple times usually will work so so aim for the head uh, use two hands when you can, but don't forfeit your speed for two hands. Add two hands once you already have your speed. Uh, slash uh, ability when they get killed with it. Good. Yeah, okay, so that's really important. Slash and spirit both are the most Im important thing to know how to use uh, after you've gotten the basic mechanics down. Slash will increase your damage uh, and will make it so you can get a one-handed headshot, which is very important. Use, using slash with one-handed headshot, it'll fill about uh, maybe a fifth of the bar or uh, a fourth, uh, probably uh, maybe an eighth to a fifth of the bar it'll fill. I'm not exactly sure. Spirit, spirit heals and slash, you just change it with the alt button, which is Y or B, depending on what hand. Uh, uh, slash will increase your damage exponentially, uh, and Spirit will heal you roughly as fast as the Uzis can damage you from a distance. If they're up close, Even the Uzis SMG will still out-damage you. SMG2, SMG2, but but if you if you dodge some bullets, if you dodge maybe a little, uh, like like a little less than half anywhere, and like a quarter to a half of the bullets being shot at you with mo with with lower DPS weapons, as long as the combo isn't being utilized, you should be able to out damage it if they're not hitting every shot. If they uh, should newer players like try and use a knife as well because right, that does right. add so, damage too. It definitely adds damage. So what you're what you're doing is you end up sacrificing speed for DPS. And the thing about the katana is done well, even with one hand or two hand without the without the knife, it should you should be getting insta kills because that's what you that's what you base. If you get in close enough and you don't get that insta kill, you're probably dead anyways. So what you want to do is, is is get your get your um, um like get your kills quickly as possible. Um, and the knife ends up slowing you down. And there's a big reason for this. It does technically add a small. I think it adds 0.1 to your speed. The katana goes at 1.4 times base speed. The knife is 1.5 times base speed. So when you use them both, it should be 1.5. It's either that or 1.4. I don't remember what, what it is when both. But what you do, the problem here is that you're not able to climb. And even if you do break it out last second, you know, to attack, you're just adding more time between your movement and your attacking. You want to make offense, which is your attacking, and defense, which is your movement, one one fluid motion. Like, what, would, what, what would be like a few tips for people who want to be just as good good as you when they start playing and you know try and be trying to be better with the katana so the biggest thing the biggest thing uh the most important thing that i see people making the mistake of is trying to pick up the katana when they see me and try and, and kind of trying to emulate it and they do good a lot of the time a lot of time it's comp players people who know how to move well you know they can do good but a lot of the time um they don't they just don't have the practice because the one thing that i do with katana that and i know some other people have done with katana that allows them to stand out is uh is, is just religious practice i i always use the katana you know me yeah, in, in yeah. any competitive experience even though i'm gonna get my ass kicked you don't know like I'm, a map like sky train or like a massive map <laughs> like like fucking temple you'd always use a katana <laughs> like temple or something. yeah yeah and it's and it's just it's just because the way i think about it and the way that i started developing my sword skill is i wanted to solve all of my problems using the katana and now if i start solving the harder problems with a weapon that i find maybe 
easier to use in a certain situation. Like if I'm against if I'm against a rocket launcher, Katana is really not great. Um, but yeah. forcing myself to go through that and die and die and die, it gets me used to that. And so you know, the harder the the diff the more difficult. Uh, uh, the the strongest iron is forged in fire. Or the strongest steels are forged in fire. You know that saying? Where yeah, yeah, like yeah. intensity, the intensity of the training will reflect. Like after trial and error, trial and error, it. trial and error, you would figure out a way to like overcome it. And that's how people like you, exactly. and, like people like Poglo, that you really good katana mates, yeah. always figure out a way to like counter people. Like me using rockets, exactly. using shotgun, etc. That's why yeah. I say katana teaches movement, and uh, movement teaches katana use is because. The big thing here it is that hand hand, it gives you yeah. a little speed boost. Yeah, it does. It's 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 really one thing when you use the when you when you move with the gun, you're shooting, and yeah, you have to and you can't moving really be on the a lot of the time. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know what I mean. But there's a separation. There's some kind of distinction between shooting and moving. But when you have the katana, you are the bullet. You know what I mean. You you are moving yourself into the into the destination. You're you're attacking with an extension of, you know you know what I mean with your of your own kind of yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. virtual self. That kind of thing just consistent practice even 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 when it seems small those build up to uh to a comfort and an intuition i suppose that you can build with with the weapon and that's what i think i have done i also just went into crowded rooms and just kept trying to clear them like for example the red room in nexus i know all you yeah. gun raiders vets know exactly what i'm talking about the red room in nexus always filled with people right the hub kids would fucking crowd in yeah, there and like protect many. each other and, and worship people yeah too, it's way too many uh there was there would be like t 10 of them in there at one time and so what I was doing even with overshields i was trying to get in there with katana and clear them out and a lot of, obviously i'm dying over and over again because if yeah. i get one kill you don't get the overshield and then there's a sea of overshields you know so you just keep dying but that's how i learned to kill streak is just to keep bouncing around and moving without immediately dying obviously i still get shot i still get, i still die but the reason i can last a little bit longer with the katana than a lot of people uh, that allows me to get the you know that kill and allows me to keep the momentum up is because i got used to just you know dashing dashing knowing when i'm gonna get the kill if not i'm gonna climb but refilling the dash on kill is a really big thing once you get going with katana you'll realize that every time you get a kill uh your fuel resets and and that's yeah. really big in the beginning is, is 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 dashing continuously as long as you have dash and also knowing when you're gonna fucking run out and you boost conservation but also boost, yeah, you gotta boost conserve, use yeah, you really got to conserve it, for sure. There's, there is one tip that I think will help a lot of katana mains, even ones that are more right. experienced. Um, this is this is, this is is one that I, that I, that I explain to most people that, that ask me about katana. Um, dashing into a wall takes up a fraction of your oh, boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just keep dashing. This is, and this is something that people, a lot of people know, but nobody really uses. And this is how I balance between walls a lot of the time is just like, I'm, I'm adding a little boost of speed to it, which makes me a little harder to hit. And it's also just in the direction that I'm it's facing. Really uh, and really you can just really keep boosting. Yeah. There's a sniper at the end of a hallway up here and you gotta cross that distance, right? Then what, what you're gonna do if, you know, there's someone sitting right here with a sniper, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're not gonna go straight forward because they're sniping so they'll just yeah. gun you down as soon as you get there so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that to bounce back and forth even move back and down a little bit so you have a confident opening you know you're dodging bullets while you're closing the distance uh, but you're not dodging the bullets you're dodging where you think they're gonna shoot it so you know that yeah. it's gonna take them some time to track you down so you get to where I'm they think the you're going to be too. They'll run out of ammo eventually out of where you can get the kill Exactly, exactly. If you can just boost enough to at least get hit in the limb once, maybe miss a couple shots, uh, another limb shot, then you have a good 50 health. You didn't dodge all the bullets, but you mess with their aim enough to make it so you lasted long enough. So now they have, now they have to replace the bullet. It's easy. You count to five and that's how many bullets they have. Uh, and if not, by then you just watch for when they stop shooting. They're going to take a second to reload. And, it, and a lot of people can reload really quick. I have a really quick reload and I don't even use it. You know what I mean? So, but, but, but there is a little, there's a, there's a fraction of a second in there that is extra. And that other, and, and you don't need a lot to close right here. You know what I mean? If you do it right, you can you can close this whole distance with one throw and dash combo. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't you don't need uh, you don't need as much uh, as much time to close big distance as you may think a lot of the time. Uh, okay, to end it off, what is your message to all you know the people who are gonna watch this video? What's your message to them who wants to get into using the katana more? The reason I got into katana as much as I did is I felt like a freaking ninja. I was watching anime. I was watching One Piece. <laughs> I wanted to be the world's greatest swordsman. Like so, you know what I mean? I got into it. Just get into yeah, it. Yeah, Nerd yeah. out a little bit and make your own style. That's another one. Is is just just do your own thing. Watch what other people are doing. Adapt other people's moves into your move set because that's healthy. That's adaptive.
adaptability you're learning from observation, learning from objects, you know, yeah. observational learning is important, definitely, but, but, but also just being okay to do things a little differently and invent your own way of doing things that works for you. That's totally great as well. You know what I mean? I can, I have millions of ideas. I have so many ideas I could give you about how to improve a katana, but at the end of the day, it's practice and it's ingenuity. This is, there's no precedent. You can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? So, so just figure it out. Thank you for making it to the end of the video and I hope this 10 minute video on katanas help you the viewer in how to improve you using the katana or teaches you how to use it in the first place. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and peace out.